everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog Quickfire Guide, this time on finding broken links. So to find broken links, you need to call the website and I've input the Screaming Frog website at the top and I'll just click start. Now this tool is free for calling up to 500 URLs. If you'd like to crawl more than that, you'll need to buy a license. You can do so by clicking on license and clicking the buy a license button. Now you can see that the crawl was at about 12%. You can see the completed and number remaining in the bottom right hand corner. Instead of waiting until this crawl finishes, I simply clear it and open up an old crawl. You can go to crawls and I can see my list of old crawls here. I'll simply open that. So this crawl is already completed. You don't have to wait for it to go to 100%. You can view broken links in real time during the crawl. However, to view them, you just need to click on response codes and then click on the filter and go down to client error for XX. You can see that I have five links here that are broken. You can see the status code is 404, which is a broken link. There's another way that you can also get to this area. Instead of having to click response code and this filter, you can actually view in this right hand window pane here. You can scroll down, you can see the response code tab here, which matches the tab. And you can see the number here. So client error for XX5. You see there's five uh, broken links that we have. Now what we need to know next is what page these broken links are on. So you can see I have a broken link to the Brighton SEO website. So this is obviously an external link that we link out to from our website. To view the page that links out to this broken link, I just need to click on this in links tab at the bottom. You can see here that the 2018 a year in a review page links to the Brighton SEO page with the anchor text or link text Oliver Bretts and you can see the link is followed. It doesn't have any link attributes on it so it doesn't have a no follow or anything along those lines. And I can view the source pages of all of these broken links like that. Now to export these broken links in bulk, I recommend using the bulk export option, going down to response codes and then clicking on client error for XX in links. So when we say in links, we mean the source pages. So the pages that have the broken links on them. So you'll get a list of all the source pages and all the broken links in, in one go. Now, finally, one extra tip. If you don't want to call the website, to find broken links, you simply want to upload a list of URLs. All you need to do is click on mode, list, and then you can click on upload and simply paste in a list of URLs to see if any of those respond with a 404. I hope that helps finding broken links.